plan a situation. You know, when you have the masses like that, I think it should be more classified as an invasion or a, a terrorist act. If we were to criminalize it, that would enable us to send in the National Guard to sweep that whole neighborhood and get those 1,200 houses clear. That's what needs to be done if we don't stop it. I mean, it's going to get worse. Authorities are cracking down on squatters. 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 Problem of squatters across Metro Atlanta. It's widespread. It's taken over roughly 1,200 homes in the Atlanta area. An exponential increase in the number of people who unlawfully stay in a building that they don't own or lease. Squatters took over after presenting fake lease documents. Frustrating problem for those neighbors in the community. Living in fear in a neighborhood that they've lived in, some of them for 30 or 35 years. Strangers uh, without background checks, just living right, just steps from our door. Hi, my name is Flash Shelton. I'm the founder of United Handyman Association, and I also opened up squatterhunters.com, where we help people that need to get their squatters out. In Atlanta right now, you know, there's an estimated 1,200 properties that have been overrun by squatters, some of them violent, some illegal activity. I've even heard something about you know, strip clubs or drug houses and things like that. But the uniqueness of this is that it, it just appears to be on such a greater scale. Typically, when someone reaches out to me, it's an individual I'm doing. It's, it's, you know, one house here, one house there. This is like a whole town being overrun and, you know, and they're just scaring other people basically out of the area, I would imagine. I think it's just something that is coming to light and, you know, and these things are popping up other places and I believe that it's going to get worse. Squatter rights. Uh, we're never intended to allow the takeover of, you know, residential maintained properties. So until we make it criminal, it's just going to keep happening. People are going to be afraid to rent out or, you know, or buy. So I think that, you know, like in Atlanta, they're, you know, they've already said there's, you know, violence and, you know, and weapons and drugs and, you know, and just the, not to mention the fact that these houses that are turning into drug houses, they are bringing that element into these neighborhoods that may not know how to adapt or handle a situation like that. Maybe these are neighborhoods that have never had a drug house and it, it's a completely different lifestyle and of having a whole bunch of different people and different cars driving through your neighborhood every day. You just, you know, so there are safety risks for children, for elderly, for anybody. I'm sure it's overwhelming to the to the communities, to law enforcement themselves, because they're just not equipped to be able to handle these these types of situations. Not only are their hands tied in a lot of it, to where they're they're not really allowed to. Um, so they they gain a lot of the blame, and a lot of people are you know blaming law enforcement, and and, and that's really not the case. Uh, they would love to be able to go in there. My advice to the Atlanta property owners would be the same as I would to any property owner. First of all, know your laws, know your rights, and think safely. You know, in, in many cases, the homeowner gets arrested for trying to take a squatter out. Regardless of what this is, this is your house, I understand that, but this is property and it's not worth your life. Call law enforcement. I never say don't call law enforcement, but as soon as law enforcement enforcement says there's nothing we can do, then I would say reach out to me or someone like me because there are, there are alternatives besides spending a year in civil court. As far as the Atlanta situation, if I was asked to go in there, uh, I would handle it the same way I handle even, you know, squatters on a smaller side. I would meet with lo the local law enforcement I would talk to them about the situation, talk to them about what I'm going to do, show them the lease, you know, show them that I have a legal right to be there. And I would ask them to do the one thing that they're allowed to do when it comes to squatters. Even though they can't physically remove a squatter, they are required to be on the premises to maintain safety. That's what I'd ask them to do. I would work along with law enforcement to remove these squatters.